Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Margis. I'm a general dentist in Des Moines, Iowa. And today my expert tip is on hand pieces. And what do I use? Or do I use electric? Do I use air driven? I've been fortunate to have been using electric hand pieces for over 20 years. I met a gentleman at the Chicago Midwinter and he asked me, you look like a fine young man. If there was a product here that was reasonably priced and you'd buy it, what would it be? And I said, it would be a B&Air electric hand piece. So he took me to the B&Air booth and he ultimately became the number one distributor for B&Air. He had not even heard of B&Air. And my tip really is about speed with the hand piece. When you're trying to create surface texture with composite resin, the key to creating that final surface texturing really is being able to turn the hand piece down low. So I have high torque, low speed control of the burr. And you can't really do that with an air driven hand piece because the rheostat goes one speed. But with electric, you can turn the speed down. So what you want to do is, as your final surface texturing on composites, if you're at 40 RPMs or 40,000 RPMs, I turn the knob down to maybe eight because that gives me the control of the burr and the hand piece to create the surface texture without obliterating all of the anatomy. So electric hand pieces to me are probably the most valuable thing that I use in my practice. Increased efficiency, you have great torque, they don't stall out, and so it would be something that I wouldn't really want to give up. I need magnification, I need optics, I need lighting, but I also need a great hand piece. And BNR has been around with me for over 20 years and I can't say enough about it. So maybe you'll try that out.